Hello, this is Hoffman Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can apply snow to vast landscapes in Blender, models in Blender, over numerous models in Blender by using the quick snow add-on. Uh, it's an add-on that's similar to the real snow add-on, which is free, but this quick snow add-on, um, it's an add-on you have to pay for. But for what it can do, the price is not that bad. It's... Uh, can be used in Blender 3.0 all the way to 4.0. That's good, it renders in EVN and also in Cycles. But once again, Cycles is better. I'll leave a link of it below this video so you guys can download yourselves and check it out. I myself am using Blender 3.4 and the installation process is still just the same. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install, navigate where you've uh, downloaded onto your system. Click on Install Add-on. Let me type in Snow. And just put a check in the box and it activates it and you're ready to go. And it's on the right hand side of the UI of Blender, which is the tool bar here. And it's got a lot of parameters here. I'm talking about a lot. Um, and one thing you have to keep in mind with this add-on is that it's pretty big. It's about 4 gigabytes. So make sure you've got enough space on your system to use it. But it can create snow. And the way this works, it's got different parts to it but it can create snow as a texture which would be helpful if you have a, like a large landscape like mountains uh, a gigantic field a big city applying the snow as a texture as opposed to an actual model saves rendering time on your system the real snow one actually added a model of snow this does that also which is down here create snow mesh which which is actual snow but this creates texture snow uh, a mesh applied snow also it also creates a snowfall system and fog so it has four a four in one kind of thing going on here which is pretty impressive uh, there are a lot of options to it uh, but what we're going to do is that we're going to get rid of this cube here press press and delete and shift a mesh let's bring in Suzanne because she's the best model to use to showcase add-ons and blender of this nature Left click on monkey and we're going to go to our wrench here and we're going to add a modifier which would be the subdivision surface which would smoother out. Uh, we're going to click on that arrow from the drop down, click on apply. And then we're going to right click and press or choose shade smooth to make her a lot smoother. And let's change our viewport by clicking on this icon here. It renders in even cycles but cycles is a lot better. So we're going to turn this to cycles and click on GPU because my graphics card is pretty strong and we're going to click on this icon to change our viewport so we see Suzanne there and let's kind of make the scene a little bit brighter by going to our world settings left click on that option there and make, her, make the scene a little bit more natural with the blue sky okay that looks pretty good now for this to work a texture had to be applied to your model in order for the snow to be applied to uh, the texture of the model. So with Suzanne Select, we're going to scroll down, click on the material properties, click on new, and let's turn her change to red. Make her different different from the snow. Let's click on that. Now she's red. And now um, we can go through some of the options that the quick snow add-on has to offer us. Uh, we can keep these settings as they are, but if we click on these presets here, we have about nine of them. And you can choose any one you want to, uh, but I think this helps in terms of how the snow lays on top of um, your model. So if you have foliage, like grass or something, you, you wouldn't want to choose wood or terrain because that would probably spread a little bit too much, but let's stick with rocks. And we have uh, different kinds of ways the snow hat can be applied as a texture, as a procedural, or as a simple setting, which would be uh, the principled BSDF. And we have different resolutions of the snow, which would be 1K, 2K, and 4K. Obviously, the higher the resolution, the longer it's going to take uh, to render. We're going to keep the resolution at 1. If you think I'll click on this thumbnail, you have different kinds of snow. Um, 
you have dirty snow, rocky snow, pure snow, so on and so forth. Let's click on let's click on rocky debris and then create snow, dynamic snow. And you can see that it applies it very well over the model. And once again, this is just a texture. This isn't an actual model of the snow. This is a, a this is not a mesh. This is just a texture of the snow. But it lays where it, the snow is supposed to lay if it were falling from the sky on top of the nose, on top of the eyes, in the crevice of the ear, and obviously on the top of the head of Suzanne. So that works perfectly. And we can increase or decrease the coverage by changing this parameter here. Left click and drag to decrease it. You can see it's getting less. We drag it to the right, it gets more. And as we scroll down, we can append the snow material or remove it if you don't like it. Um, it's got some dynamic snow properties, so you can further customize your snow, local snow coverage, lock snow rotation. I uh, can uh, deal with the blend of it, the pixel blend and so on and so forth, the softness of it. And as we scroll down even further, because this has got a lot of options to it, and this, this is just something that's pretty impressive. Um, you can uh, deal with the snow displacement, and this is experimental. You have to put Blender and the experimental uh, part of rendering, which would be up here. You have to scroll up, left click on that. And when it says feature, you have to go to experimental, but you can test it out for yourselves. Let's go down furthermore, or further in our options here. And you can change the color, the tint of the snow, the AO. Uh, you can choose to have more advanced settings to tweak the snow even more. Now, this is a lot of options. It's actually starting to hurt my neck trying to look at all these options or making my neck a little bit sore. Uh, you can increase the, the softness of the snow to make it softer or harder. Increase the wetness. If you pull this up, the snow has more of a glossy look to it. As you can see here, it looks more glossy. Can make it glitter increase it even more by making it shine a tad bit more increase the normal strength you can also paint where you want the snow to be by active act activating the snow mask click on that you can change the gradient mask the fall off you can click on this option to start painting where you want the snow to be where you want the snow to be actually um, it's got the snow texture mask, the cavity mask, the edge mask, and activate all those if you want to. If you're really into tweaking the snow even further. Now here you can apply the snowfall, um, and there are presets for this too: the gentle breeze, calm, gentle, strong, light storm, heavy storm. So all you have to do, let's get out of, um, let's let's do this last. You can create fog also. Just let us click on that and it makes fog let's click on it so we can see the fog and look at the fog and it's I don't know if you can you can't animate the fog uh, but it's uh, it's not a bad option to have you can remove the fog by clicking on that and this feature like I said before it turns the snow from a texture to a mesh let's left click on that it may take some time did it turn into a mesh let's left click on Suzanne and then click on that now you can see that it's added a mesh over the texture. The texture of the snow is still there. You can see that on the eyes and on the ears, but it has added a mesh. If you left click on that, you can see that it's a mesh in and of itself. You can click on that to delete the mesh and takes the mesh away. Now for the snowfall, which is the last one I wanted to showcase, uh, let's go into a different shading viewport which is solid let's, let's click on that and when you click click on let me see let's go to strong breeze and leave it at low poly click on create snowfall and then when you press play let's see what happens yeah look at that it creates a snowfall for you automatically so the quick snow add-on does quite a few things that would pretty much covers um, everything that you would need to create a snow scene in Blender. And it does quite a bit, and that's today's Blender Quick Tip. It was a lot to go over, but I just wanted to make sure I covered as much as possible. And I hope uh, this was helpful for those of you who have watched. And once again, thank you guys who have watched the uh, tutorials, and hopefully it, those ones I've put out have been helpful for those of you who have seen them. 
And once again, remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.